Weave. 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 Yes. Weave. 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 Yes. Oh, look, cool. <laughs> so what I do when I have something for my dog that I want to put it in his mouth, you get him wrapped up. <laughs> this is stuff he hasn't seen, right? He's never seen a piece of PVC pipe or a nighty PVC pipe to put in his mouth. So what I do is I gotta one, show him to put it in his mouth is what I want him to do. Because usually we tell dogs don't put stuff in their mouth, which he does too. So he's kind of like, should I put it in my mouth? Should I put it in my mouth? That's why I don't really do this with him. Heel. Yes. Get it. Yes. That's the start, right? That's how he actually put it in his sprouts, kind of brought it back. Down. Down. Free. Get it. Get it. Yes. Down. 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 So I want to get him wrapped up. Get it. Yes. So it's just starting it. That's how you shape it to bring stuff back. Good. So that back step is what I'm trying to reward. <laughs> so yes, dog trainers have a hard time showing their dogs tricks sometimes. Not always sunshine and rainbows. Your dog doesn't understand what you're asking. It's foreign. He's getting kind of tired, so I know I'm wearing him out. He's getting mentally tired. I make this a comfortable position because we know we don't always have a lot of space. So, like this. Good center. Good. Center. Come on. Yes. So when I walk by people like this, when I know my dog's with me, they know my dog's with me. Dogs focus a little bit better on you. Good. Center. Can we get to the end? Cool. Heel. Heel. So when I bring my dog out in public and I need him to be neutral, I put him in a down. Keep an eye on what's coming to your dog. If you see a kid coming in hot, hey, you can't touch my dog. If you see somebody like, hey, that's a good dog, and they go and pet your dog, I would not let nobody pet your dog when it is in the command. Your dog is listening to you. You don't want it just to get over there and get random pets because your dog's gonna be like, hey, when I'm in a heel, am I gonna get random pets? No, not at all. So I want my dog to be neutral, cool, calm, and collected. So people are gonna walk by, walk by, walk by. What I do is they walk by, I say, good dog, go ahead. And I go pet him to let them know that, hey, it's me that's going to give you the affection because I am what you know and who you follow. Good boy, get down. Um, there's not really people that I thought that was going to be coming. There was earlier, but traffic kind of stopped. We'll go to the cash register and we'll show how I use those areas where there's in and out of people as him to start blowing off people because new faces walking by. 
and then you have kids walking by, you have loud carts walking by. Just start socializing your dog, slash neutralizing them to all the different triggers or what they might be a trigger for your dog. Socialize my dog, make him neutral to what's going on. Heel, down, and I leave him there and I let people walk by and I walk away. So he's gotta stay there, he has to control what's going on in his own head, he knows what he has to do is stay there, he's gotta be neutral to what's going on. Whether I'm in the picture or not, he has to stay right there. And yes, I know he's quite a distance from me, and people might be like, oh my God, how do you know he's gonna listen? Because I've worked. I've worked, and I've worked, and I did rep. You can go ahead, don't worry about it. <laughs> Good, thank you. Here you go, here's a business card. Thank you. You have a good one. So this is what I do is I come out here and I work him and I try to keep him out here working so that way he stays on track. Hey, stuff is different. Shout out to that guy for making me feel good about myself. Because <laughs> sometimes it's hard, you know, doing this dog training stuff. People, hey, I'll call you and you know you're not going to get a call. Like it happens nine times out of ten. But hey, I'm still going to put in the work. I'm still going to train my dog because my dog speaks for itself. This is who I am. But this is what I walk around with. I can try and shape your dog to be half the dog. If your dog is half the dog I have. You're golden. How you doing, sir? Can I help you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's what I do. Mess with dogs, sir. Uh-huh. There's one right there. I've got Hunting dogs? Oh, I used to do that. That's what I started out with. I used to do a retrieving bird dogs. This one do a whole lot of tracking. So there a person walked right by him, down. This guy might go pet him. <laughs> he really likes my dog. So look, down. So, that was a good, he's gonna get really, that was kind of a hard situation for him to, to avoid. The guy walked in his bubble, good boy. Good down, yeah. good boy, down. Just remind him again, down. Oh, completely blew me up. No. Down. So, then listen, no correction, down back again. It's a good day, you know, sometimes we have good days, bad days. Yesterday we worked a little bit. Um, and that thing, another thing about my dogs, and for him to look, if you want to do an over the shot picture like Tim's, like this, like over the top of his back. This is the healthy frame right here, where it comes out, comes in, you can't see his hips, but you can see the muscle. You can see ribs, that's a healthy dog. If you ever seen a healthy horse, you can see ribs when it's running. Not emaciated, but this is a healthy look right here. This is what I do. In order to get this, you know how I get this? Don't feed my dog every day. I don't let my dog eat however he much he wants. I control it like everybody else has to control what they eat to keep themselves from putting on extra weight. He will get a meal, he works for his meals, or he's gonna get what he's gonna work off. So that way he maintains what he has, he doesn't put on any extra, because I do a lot of extra with him. He jumps, he runs, he bites, he does this, he does that. So I need him to keep him young, I need to keep his bones, his joints, everything stress-free as least as I can. And the way I keep things stress-free and keep his longevity up is by managing his weight. It's super easy, why don't I just do it? It reduces arthritis, uh, heart problems, you know. I know he doesn't have the best genetics, so I'm gonna try and keep him around as long as I can and keep him moving as long as I can. I also didn't start jumping with stuff with him like that until he was two years old. I made him hit two years old before he started jumping to his body developed for the impact like that. Center. This is also how I work back up with my dog. Center. Is I keep them in this position, and what I can do is I'll pull their harness, so that way they go straight back. Center. Good.
So he plopped into a down. What I'm gonna do is remind him what he's doing. Center, and then I walk. Yes, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Free, he's never done that. So that's where I end. Whenever it's a good rep, I end it right there. <laughs>